Right, hello. Welcome to my pantry. I'm actually standing in my kitchen doorway. Um, it's, it is a walk-in pantry. Sorry, the tinkling is my dog's. Um, it's a walk-in pantry, but obviously it's not huge. Um, this wasn't actually built with a house. My husband um, built it for me. He stole a bit from our dining room, and this door, which leads into the pantry, was originally the door into the dining room. So we walled it off, and it's been. We've had this pantry built now for month and a half something like that so um, I finished a few storage options the other week so I thought I would do um, a video to see what people thought uh, try not to be too shaky I could really do a steady cam at this point but um, I'll go in and um, hopefully you might you might like it you might get some ideas I love uh, getting ideas from other people so um, firstly these um, drawers originally I had boxes uh, stacked on top of each other and um, it didn't work at all because obviously to get to the bottom box oh, you had to unload all the ones on top so I had to find a solution and obviously it had to fit in the required space because I have a door here so I'm just shutting the dog in um, so it, they needed to be a specific size these are actually shoe drawers um, they're made by the company WHAM w -H -A -M, and you buy them all individually and then they stack on top of each other and they clip in so they are really secure they're really nice gliding drawers they're not sticky in any way um, I think here I've got uh, 16 stacked up on top of each other so I can give you a, a look inside and see I don't keep I keep um, little bits and pieces this is where they come to their own so in the bottom very bottom drawer because it doesn't get used very much I have got Christmas sweets um, that my sister gave me. Oh, I was saying about the sliding in, that one doesn't slide in. Okay, the second one I keep um, Halloween things in. Yes, it's only June, but um, my sister gave me those as well. I've got sweets in the third. Oh, chewing gum and normally mints in there, but I've, I'm a bit of a mint fiend, so they're in the kitchen at this present time. The next one up are these little, these are fantastic actually. Um, can you see that? Florida Naturals Nuggets. They're made with fruit juices, so they're brilliant for children's lunch boxes or snacks, and they taste really like sweets. So they're fantastic. I buy them on the internet in boxes, so they work out a little bit cheaper. Uh, biscuits in this one. It's a bit overloaded. Um, biscuits in this one. And more biscuits that I bought in France that are going to have to be eaten soon and then I, I use these drawers as well for these little um, pudding cup things like custard I don't, I don't know these no one's actually tried in these so whether they like them or not they're um, crusher the milkshake people their parts this one rice pudding uh, this one are things like jelly the one up from that I won't show you in these, um, yeah, um, like ship and sandwich spreads. The one up from that, pasta and sauce. The one up above that at the moment has meringue nests, so hopefully I'm going to go fruit picking very optimistically tomorrow. Um, so I thought the meringue nests would be quite good to have. And at the moment my top drawer is empty. And on the very top there, the mini packets of cereal, which um, a couple of weeks ago were on offer in Tesco's for a pound. So I did have quite a lot in there, the remaining ones, only four. They've been very popular. So my top shelf um, at the very top is kind of baked, is baking items that are unopened. So behind the dates is flour. Um, obviously the pitted dates, which actually we eat, well I eat as snacks. And then there's sugar. There are um, bread mixes, icing sugar, and then a couple of um, a, an icing sifter and some icing uh, piping. I think my husband bought me for my birthday and, and did a cake. Then below that, I have these lock and lock containers. Now I've had these for a long time, and I've and I have had these implemented, and they're fantastic. And they keep all my dry goods in. Like I have flour, yeast, uh, ice cream cones, stuff raising flour, icing sugar, dried fruits, popcorn kernels, um, and they are really really good. Um, and then below that, the same lock and lock, but these are round, and they have little handle on top very nifty so you can carry them about which is quite good because um we keep cereal well actually my husband um 
there's a bit of cycling nut and at the moment he's going through a soup and cracker stage so he keeps his crackers in one and then we keep cereals in the other um, and there's some ready brick in that bottom one and then I have some box goods um, that are kind of miscellaneous, cake mixes, things like that um, and then I have these wooden drawers which um, I have got lots of these um, in storage at the moment that I'm currently not using but these fitted ideally for what I needed so I don't know if you can see I have tea bags in that first one like uh, herbal tea more herbal tea quite fond of herbal tea I'm, I'm thinking the panning probably isn't a very good idea um, more tea Horlicks Oh, hot chocolate in that one Coffee, including um, camp coffee which is good for cooking with Over to this one, I think, yeah, I've got an empty one there I'm sure I'll find something to fill it with These um, are all the... Oh my god, what a hoarder uh, These are all the bits that um, we pick up and get uh, when we stay in a hotel or b and or um, anything like that so um, if I've got some left I keep them and, and use them at home so that's what that drawer is these are popcorn seasoning not something we, we can buy in the UK but I buy them online they're all different flavours and apparently you can use mashed potatoes and rice and things so that's the savoury ones um, these are sweet ones that one's chocolate marshmallow so they're, they're quite good brightens up some popcorn um, herbs, that one, and uh, apple pie seasoning and cinnamon sugar, which is lovely on hot hot oats and things. So that's those drawers. So um, there are actually four separate units. They're stacked one on top of each other, like that. My the bottom shelf uh, doesn't get used too much. It's um, mostly dry goods, so there are some boxes of pasta, boxes of peas, um, there's some long life milk, some hot cocoa packets, lots of salt, um, so yeah, it doesn't, you don't use that shelf terribly. Um, in the corner, I've got a little shelf here, the very top one are more dry goods, so I've got things like macaroni, I've got um, paxo, then I start my savoury condiments like peanut butter in that um, ketchup shell. I really don't like having condiments in the pots. I think they look messy. So my fridge, I've got these little pots, all with jams and chutneys and things in. It makes them look a bit more uniform. It looks like it's better. But um, the rest of the things are still in their containers because a lot of these are open. Um, oh, my best friend Marmite uh, and some penny rice. I, I really can't find a place for that penny rice. Um, baked beans. That's there because it's, it's an, a really really easy, re easily a accessible place. So they're there. Then this one in here, if you can see, I've got salmon and I've got Frey Bentos puddings. The reason I've got the puddings, um, I bought them on offer. I'm a bit of an offer shopper. And um, I like to have things in for when it's cold and if there's snow and stuff. Not that we get a lot down in the south, but um, it's quite handy to have things. And also we work for ourselves. So if we need to rely on the um, pantry, we do. So I've got tin goods and lots of tin spam down there. Now this this shelf, which is straight on um, as you come through the door, um, have got the top is really miscellaneous. It's got um, some meatballs and it's got some goose fat for when I do roast potatoes. I think that was a leftover from Christmas. Then I've got sweet um, kind of spreads and things and some marshmallows there. Then I've got more sweet things, um, there are some sprinkles and stuff, a thing of hot chocolate which doesn't fit in the drawers and my husband's just recently bought some more coffee so that was nicely placed there. It should really go in a drawer, actually that could be what that spare drawers for. Um, behind um, this stacking unit I've got tinned uh, fruits and vegetables which actually I don't use very often. Um, I might grab a tin of fruit and have the tin of fruit which are, which are behind. Um, but yeah, it doesn't get used very much, so this is why I've, I've implemented this. Um, they're vegetable baskets, I think. They stack on top of each other. They were £2 each basket in my local, um, not hardware, kind of cheapy store, um, which is great for storage. And it's got um, rices at the bottom, then it's got some spaghetti, 
um, some fun pasta shapes um, for when my niece is here, she's not overly keen. Then it's got some crisps and the one above that are some um, sweet snacks and then opened mini cereal and some large boxes of cereal and some new wrap kits that Sharwoods have just brought out so I'll give those a go. Uh, on the floor you might see I've got a big thing of um, rice on the floor. It doesn't actually get used terribly often. Um, my son will eat rice, my husband will only eat rice from the Chinese takeaway. I will eat rice so I'm the only one who really goes for that. And then I keep these paper cartons so I can stack my cans on top of each other and move them about um, a lot more quickly than if you're moving one can at a time, which trust me, sorry the light's gone out, it's um, an automatic light, um, which, which does save time. So I've got some little boxes, these are the drawers to the right, I've got some little boxes with um, spare bits and pieces in, so they, that's just clear of the door, and now I'm just going to show you behind the door, so I'm going to come in, my dog Figgy's standing in the way, um, so this shelf um, has been repurposed in here. My husband put this in here. As I said, he's on this soup and cracker fad, which he's been going through now for a little while. So um, he wanted a shelf for his soup. So I caught him with his um, drill out and he had put this, this up, which looks absolutely fine. It fits in behind the door perfectly. So that's his soup station. Um, then next to this, these are mini really useful boxes. Um, I'm a big fan of really useful, uh, even though their delivery is extremely slow. Uh, here there are four separate units, um, all stacked on, on top of each other, and obviously they're attached to the wall. Um, and I use them for, oh I have pulled one with a label on, um, that one's clothes, it's not, it doesn't want to focus, that one's got clothes in. So all the bottom set here are herbs. The one above are spices, the one above that are cake making things, so there are sprinkles, there are colourings, um, I think there are some paper cases, I can't see them there but there are paper cases, oh they're up there. Um, and then at the very top are stock cubes, which I do have a lot of all the different, so it keeps them isolated and rather than rummaging through a box with, with they're all in there together trying to work out which is the vegetable or chicken they're all in their individual places and on top there I've got some paprika um, so that works really well it, I keep um, a folding step in here to get to the top shelves and these little boxes um, the one on top has got biscuits in hopefully behind the door it's out of sight out of mind it's not but still um, and then they've got things like, I've got some melamine cups and saucers from the 1950s that I used for outside or for going on a picnic or something. So they're all stacked up in those boxes. Once again, it, it, they're, they're hidden behind the door. So you can't see them um, when you walk in. And it, again, it's just using a, a piece of dead space, which is quite good. On the back of the door, I've got a hook. Um, that bag is um, has got some chocolate in, which my uh, brother-in-law brought me back from South Africa. That wallet has got um, labels in. I've got a hang away which I don't really use very often and a freezer bag. So <clears throat> that's about it. Um, I'll give you another look in from here. So oh the box on its side there I think is lasagna sheets and underneath it is a, a, a wooden box with mixed tea in that I bought when we were in France. So um, yeah, I mean, it probably could be a bit, a bit more organised if it didn't have so much stuff in, but like I said, I do really like buying things when they're on offer, so I can stock up when, when things are cheaper. It seems pointless to me to um, buy things when they're full price. Uh, so, yeah, that's my pantry. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, um, please subscribe, because I intend on showing you more cupboards and more storage in my house. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.